Alrighty guys, howdy, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We're on episode 3, and I could not be happier. I'm having too much fun with this, actually. <gasps> A girl! That's new. Let's talk. Don't men open doors for a lady anymore. How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh. Lazy. Oh, it's you, Link. Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at school the whole time. Pippet is the one to ask about birds. I saw him downstairs a minute ago. Why don't you look for him there? Alright, that's right, guys. We are on the hunt for our loft wing. We have no idea what happened to it. <laughs> Uh, why don't we take her her advice and go talk to Pivot, the bird expertise man? All right, let's let's look around. What is? Oh, I think this is actually the bath. Yes, we can take a quick soak. That shouldn't be a problem. Yay! You can sprint in the bathtub. <laughs> I don't know why that was so entertaining for me, but I like the idea, and I hate the school. I want to break everything. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh dear. All right, let's see around. Zelda. And that room is always locked, but we can get into it later through the power of sorcery, or you know, hook shots. Hey, Pippet. You're not still wandering around the academy, are you? What? Your loft wing won't come when you call for it. Why would a guardian bird not come when it's called? You know, I've never heard of this ever happening before, so I can't even tell you what you're doing wrong. But a good senior never hangs an underclassman out to dry. We'll figure this out together. You go to the plaza and ask people there if they know anything. In the meantime, I'll ask around here. The plaza, eh? Sounds like a plaza to me. Oh! Why don't we talk to Gooberface here? Hey, Fledge. Hey, what's wrong, Link? You don't know where your bird is? What are you talking about, Link? You called it, but it didn't even come to you? Uh, so that means... Oh, I knew it. Oh! Uh, oh, uh, nothing. Really, I was uh, talking to myself. You know, like I do. Oh, he knows something. I'm on to you, Fledge, you gooberhead. Oh! Link! Hey, um, I should probably tell you... Uh, forget it, never mind, sorry. Oh. Oh, well. As big of a goober as Fledge is, I don't think we're gonna get him to talk, so let's head outside and see what we can find there. Pivot said we should head to the plaza. That's exactly what I do. And the gate's open now, so we can go explore Skyloft, basically in its entirety, or its majority, and... <laughs> You get this kid. <laughs> I, I feel like I should just kind of sit and watch him for a second. <laughs> but once is enough. Why don't we try this? Wow! You did it! It's Sky Stack Beetle! Way up! And five rupees. Same luck? <gasps> yes, sir. What a haul! Ten rupees! Uh, it looks like. I never noticed that before, but is that something? Oh, that's just a light. Oops. Angry. I thought that was some special item, but it's not. That's okay. Uh, this is the Skyloft Plaza. Oh, that looks. That looks scary. What's up, dude? I'm gonna talk to you while I stand on this bench. Hey, Link. How's it going? The wing ceremony's about to begin, right? Remember when Pippet won the last one right at the last second? It was so close. Now that was a race. Hey, your Crimson Loftwing will be in the race, right? I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Thank you, sir, but first I need to find the dang thing. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, I'll just assume that's the big Slenderman one, Stritch. Let's see here. You know, Bruce, that sure was a pain, what with all the scratching and pecking. And before we get into this, I have been struggling to find a good voice for Gru, so, um, this is what I kind of pseudo, kind of, uh, anyway, this is sort of what I decided. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> <laughs> Go 
course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was going to go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <laughs> Whoa, Link! So, uh, yeah, just how long you been standing there? <laughs> What's your problem anyway? Oh wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading. Oh, Cruz, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please? How does Cruz do it? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> Close up. Well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. <laughs> Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is it that's... Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? Mm, I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Nice hair. <laughs> I got a bone to pick with him. You lay off my do right now or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids, big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh! Zelda, hey, nah, it's, uh... <laughs> Finger! Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the Academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose... Uh, you suppose? Suppose what? <laughs> I suppose <laughs> Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. <laughs> Jerks. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your birds, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Okay. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. Thank you, Zelda! And we're all alone again. Holy crap, I was afraid to be all alone again. Now let's see here. Oh, where should we go now? Why don't we go check in with Pippet? He might have some inflormation. Inflormation. <laughs> yeah. And there's that kid again. <laughs> Everybody look and laugh. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Dun dun! I like to climb stairs. It's fun. Oh, Groose. Groose is a jerk. Kinda can't help but love him, though. Oh, let's see. Aha! Here he is! Ooh! Yeah. Link! Link! Perfect timing! I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search! And get- I'm the one who told you, Pippet! Oh my gosh! 
And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Same thing happened to me, bro. I'm so sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out, I told you. <sighs> Sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. <sighs> Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. Oh. It sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. You got that out of that? Oh, oh my. Well, near a waterfall would mean, quick, let's take a look at your map. Sounds good to me. That's it, right here. I think it means the waterfall marked here with X. Why would I have it marked with X beforehand? Well, that's that's it, all right. Oh. You know how to read a map, right? Press plus at any time to... Yeah, yeah, we know. I know how to pr uh, get a map. <laughs> Forgive me, Link. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Okay, let's see. Going after the waterfall, dangerous things, creepy... I need a, a sword. Night Commander of the Sparring Hall. And wouldn't you know it, Sparring Hall is actually just right here. Awesome. That was convenient. And... Let's see. <clears throat> hey, it's Link! So, you still want to get in some sword practice even though today is the wing ceremony? No, that's too much like Groose's voice. Why don't we make him Batman? Yeah, let's make him Batman. So, you still want to get in some sword practice even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. And, I'm Batman. The sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, because I'm Batman. So if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. I know everything. I'm Batman. Okay. I'M BATMAN! Our first chest! I got the sword! It's actually just a practice sword. Best sword in the game, guys. No joke. It- Oh! We can use a sword! Awesome. We're living large, guys. We got a sword, we got cash, we got six hearts instead of three. We are unbeatable. Alright, Batman. Oh yeah, you wanna learn about how to use a sword? Yes, please. Okay, just swing the Wii Remote to swing your sword. Swing the Wii Remote vertically to do a vertical slash. And swing it sideways to do a side slash. Thrust the Wii Remote forward to do a thrust. <laughs> giggity giggity. And then there's the spin attack, a more advanced technique. To do that, swing the Wii Remote and nunchuck together in a sideways motion. If you remember these moves, you too can be Batman. Just joking. I'm Batman. Just remember the fundamentals. Always press C to target an enemy as soon as you see it. Try getting in some good practice on those logs. If the sword doesn't respond quite the way you want it to, yeah, yeah, big vertical, big, big, <laughs> big vertical swipes. And once we slice up all the logs, we can try our big move. All right, here we go. Let's see. And it looks like this, the Wii Motion Plus is pretty good for my position. There we go. Whoa! Vertical. Nice. The death log. I'll beat you. <laughs> Guess not. You monster! Diagonal! Left diagonal! And... Thrust! That's right, Link. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make Batman proud. Are you ready to try spin attack? Sure! Great. Now I'm going to surround you with logs. You need to cut them all without moving from that spot. All you have to do is swing the Wii Remote and nunchuck horizontally at the same time. Give it a shot, Batman. Good one! That sure looked like it felt good. So, why don't you try a fatal blow to close out the session? Sure. Alright, when your enemy is down, 
target it with Z. I'll show you guys how. Do a side slash on that log, and try it off with this finishing technique. So, horizontal, and then you're going to want to just kind of thrust both those e mode and nunchuck forward, and oh, it's so awesome. It's probably my favorite move. That's the way. A fatal blow is also an effective move to use right after you've used your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you'll have to swing the weird mode and nunchuck quickly before they get back on their feet. Mm -hmm. Bye! Hey, Link! You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. Only I can. I'm Batman. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? What? Your loft wing is missing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once. But remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. And Batman. That's me. I'm Batman. I don't want to see you swinging it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this. So here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these locks first. And once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to, got it? Got it! Thanks, man! And I think we're all practiced up. And actually, I think I'm gonna want to end this episode pretty darn soon, because it's getting a little lengthy. <laughs> oh my gosh, the Batman voice annihilated my voice, it seems like. Oh! We have to talk to the Sheikah Stone, too! Crap, well, this episode could be approaching 20 minutes. I won't make all the episodes this long, though. Hey, friend! Walk yourself on over here! Say hello! Ah, oh, crap, I don't know... Oh, let's see. How do you do? I'm what you call a Sheikah Stone! Glad to meet ya! I'm a stone a few words, so I'll get right to it! You're gonna find say your s <laughs> you're gonna find yourself in puzzling circumstances as you make your way through this world. If you should find yourself stuck and you have no idea how to move forward, come see me. I've got nothing for you right now, but down the road when you're feeling stuck, the things I'll show you may just get you back on the right track. Good luck out there, friend. Well, thank you very much, sir. <clears throat> All right, though, I think I'm gonna end this episode right here. Um, <sighs> excuse me. So safe statue here. That concludes the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword episode three. In this part, we met Batman, got a sword, and we're off to the waterfall in the next episode. Alright guys, so I'll see you in a few, in a few whatever period of time you want, for episode four. See you guys then.